Hi everybody, it's Crystal, and I'm going to show you how to do this um, stocking today with the picture frame in it. This was actually the first stocking I've ever made, so I kind of winged it during the tutorial, but I think it turned out okay. Um, what you need going to need for this is I use um, just regular Red Heart Super Saver a worsted weight four ply acrylic and then I use some um, four ply care on simply soft that has sparkles in it but it, they're both four ply and they're both uh, worsted weight acrylic but you don't have to use acrylic you, know, you can use any type of any type of yarn that you have um, and then you're going to need a size six millimeter a size J crochet hook you're going to need a hot glue gun probably work best if it's a low heat hot glue gun. And then you're going to need um, photo sheets. Now for the photo sheets, I got this whole pack at Walmart for like a dollar or two. Um, if you, there's other things you can use besides these too. If you have an old photo book, you know, that um, has a cardboard and you pick up the plastic and stick the picture in it and cover it, that'll work too. Um, anything clear is going to work, but if you want to use these, they're at Walmart, they're real cheap, and then you're going to need some type of cardboard for the back, and I just used, I just cut mine out of an old cereal box, because you're not going to be able to see it, so it worked. And then the photo of your choice can be any size, because you can make it any size that you want. Okay, to start, for the cuff I'm actually doing using two strands at the same time to make the cuff thicker and this is the only time that I'll use two strands it's on the cuff after that nothing else is going to have two strands but I started with a chain of 38 and you can definitely make it bigger or smaller but 38 is what I did and I'm going to do mine at a smaller scale because I already did this part. So I'm just going to show you. Once you get your 38 stitches made, what it is is one long piece and we'll fold it over and sew the side seam up later in the project. So it looks long now, but it's going to be folded over. But once you get your 38 stitches done, you want to go ahead and double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook. And we don't count the one that's on our hook. And then we're going to go ahead and put one double crochet in every stitch across. Okay, when you make it to the end, maybe if I make it to the end here, when you make it to the end of your row, what you want to do is chain three and turn your work. One, two, three and turn and now we're just going to be doing rows of double crochet so it's going to be pretty easy you want to start your next double crochet right here in this stitch just like that and then you want to work your way across again putting one double crochet in each stitch for the length that you have. And remember I'm just showing you on a small scale. It's going to be a lot bigger. I just already have this part done. So. And 
then when you get to the end, again, one thing you just want to make sure at the end of every row is that your last stitch is that chain three. You got to make sure that you go into that chain three because that counts as a stitch. And if you don't go into it, your sides will be crooked. And then you just chain three again and turn and work across again. And you just keep doing that for as many rows as you want your cuff thick. But I get a total of four rows for the cuff. But you can do more or less if you want. And now what you want to do at the end of the fourth row here, on your last double crochet, you want to switch colors by yarning over and going in, drawing up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two, just like you normally would for a double crochet. Instead of yarning over and pulling this color through, I'm just going to pull my new color through. And with my new color through, that's not the cuff part, I'm only going to use one strand. Because I want the cup to be a little bit fatter. Just pull it through like that. I'm going to tie it in a little bitty knot here so it doesn't slip away from me. And I can take that knot out at the end and then sew on my tails. Now I'm going to chain three, turn, and I'm just going to continue with this color, putting one double crochet just like we were doing in every stitch. So I'm just doing the same thing, just rows of double crochet, and I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do, several, but I'll let you know how many I do total here in just a second. Okay, I went ahead and did um, nine more rows of this color of double crochet, but you can definitely make it bigger if you want. I'm just going to go ahead and clip this off now and tie it off and now I'm going to make the heel, heel part of it. So I'm going to go back to another color, I'm just still using one strand, I'm going to be using one strand the rest of the time, I only did that two strands up here. So I'm going to start with a slip knot now I'm going to start in um, eight stitches from here start in the eighth one and that's where you want to start Okay, and go ahead and go through that slip knot that's on your hook. Okay, now we'll start by going through the same stitch that we just started in and do a single crochet. And I'm going to do one single crochet in each one of these stitches. If you made your stocking bigger, you can always start in a little bit further if you want. And once you get them, you went in single crochet on all them, what you want to do is just reach right around and grab this other piece and start in the first stitch here and single crochet in it. Which is going to be that chain three, so... I can't even get it. Okay, and then single crochet in the next seven stitches. So counting that very first stitch, you'll have eight, just like we did on the other side. Three, Just like that. So you got eight on this side and eight on that side. And they're kind of connected there. So now you want to chain one and turn your work. Okay, now I'm going to single crochet decrease into the first 
over the first stitch. So I'm going to go in, drop a loop. I'm going to go in the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and go through all three. Now I'm going to continue around with one single crochet in every stitch. So I get over here to this other side. And then when you get to the last two stitches, you want to single crochet decrease over the last two. So go into the second to last one and drop a loop. And then you go into your very last one. Drop a loop, yarn over, and go through all three. Chain one and turn. Single crochet decrease over the first two stitches. Go into it, drop a loop, go in the next one, drop a loop, yarn over, go through all three. Now we're going to do one single crochet and every stitch across till we get to the last two stitches. It's a little awkward to work with, I think, but. When you get to the last two, single crochet decrease in them, like that, chain one and turn, do it again, single crochet decrease over the first two stitches, like that, and then we will single crochet, one in every stitch, until you get to the last two stitches on the other side. And then you single crochet decrease over the last two. That. Okay, and you want to chain one and turn. Now we're going to do it again. Decrease over the next first two stitches and then one single crochet in every stitch until you get to the last two stitches and decrease over the last two. We're going to do it again, chain one and turn, decrease over the first two stitches, single crochet, one every stitch until you get to the last two, decrease, and we'll do it, oh, and we're going to do it one more time. Chain one and turn, decrease over the first two stitches, single crochet, decrease over the last two stitches. Now we're going to chain one and turn, now we're going to do increase rows, going to put two Single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet until you get to the last stitch, and then you put two single crochets into the last stitch, chain one and turn, two single crochets in the first stitch. Then you single crochet until you get to the last stitch, and then you put two single crochets into the last stitch, 
chain one and turn, two single crochets in the first stitch, single crochet in every stitch until you get to the last stitch, and then you put two single crochets in the last stitch. You just want to keep doing this. It's just like we were just doing it to the decrease and not the last stitches, first and last stitches were increasing until it gets as wide as this one. So you can kind of fold it up and sew it together. So I'm just going to keep working. Chain one and turn. Two single crochets in the first stitch. One single crochet in each stitch until you get to the last stitch. And then you put two single crochets into the last stitch. Okay, and I'm going to keep working a few more rows till it gets where I can fold it over and it matches up with this side. So I did a total of six rows of the decreases and six rows of the increases. And now I want to I'm going to cut a long tail on this because we're going to sew it up now before I start on the bottom. And I'm going to use my yarn needle to sew it. So I'm just going to take my long tail and my yarn needle and I'm going to get all this sewed up. So I'm just going to take it and kind of sew it up here neatly if I can. Just like this. If you know a different way to do the heel, you can. I mean, I don't even know if this is the right way. This is all this. I kind of figured out how to do it. And then you want to sew up this side too. And then I'm going to take my other thread. I'm going to sew this up. Now I'm taking my yarn needle and I'm sewing up the long side here. If you want to wait to the end you can, but I'm just going to get it out of the way. Since I had my yarn needle out. I'm just sewing Oh! I'm just sewing it up the same way. I'm just going to go all the way up, sewing it. And then when I get up to my cuff bar, I'm just going to switch colors and just sew it the same way. That way the seam is the same color. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this. And then we'll start on the bottom part. The toe, whatever, this part down here. Okay, after you get it all sewed up. Start with the slip knot on my hook. I'm going to start right here on this heel piece. Chain one. I'm going to put one single crochet. Every stitch here along the heel. And once you get single crochet on all that heel part, I'm going to start doing doubles. So I'm just going to go down here on this part. 
And I'm going to start working double crochets in every stitch. one in every stitch And once you make it around with the double crochet and you're back here to where you started with your single crochet, I'm just going to slip stitch into that first single crochet and then I'm going to chain three. Now I'm just going to work my way around putting one double crochet in each stitch. All the way around. Now it's just rounds of um, double crochet. One in every stitch. And this should form our toe area, hopefully. And you just want to keep going around this whole area with one double crochet in each stitch. When you get back here, you just want to slip stitch into your chain three, chain three again, go around again. Just keep doing that. And I'll tell you how many rows of that I do. Okay, I went ahead and did four more rows of double crochet in this color. Now I'm going to switch to my toe color by when I go up and slip stitch to my chain three. I'm just going to go ahead and pull my new color through like that. And I can clip off this old color. Put a little tie here so it doesn't slip away chain three and now I'm going to do one row of one double crochet in each stitch with this color and then I'm going to start decreasing with it so I'm going to go all the way around just like we did before, one double in each stitch. <laughs> okay, after that row, you just want to slip stitch into the chain three like normal. Now I'm going to do rows of double crochet decreases until it closes up. So I'm just going to chain one and I'm going to do double crochet decreases across every stitches. Every stitch, so I'm going to yarn over, go into the first stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and go to the first two loops, yarn over and go into the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and go to the first two, and then yarn over and go through all three. And that's a double crochet decrease. So I'm going to yarn over and go into the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two stitches. Yarn over and go in the next stitch, drop a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two, and then yarn over and go through all three. And that's another double crochet decrease. And I'm going to be working the double crochet decrease in all the stitches. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, drop a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, drop a loop. Yarn over. First two, yarn over and go through all three. And I'm just going to keep working this all the way around. Just like that. 
that. Made it back around and I'm just going to continue going around with double crochet decreases in every stitch until my hole is closed. Oops. And it's just going to keep getting tighter. So you just want to keep doing it until actually till you can't do any more. The hole will just keep getting smaller. starting to get small just keep going around doing double crochet decreases until you can't fit you just can't do any more and then you just want to clip off a long tail and then we'll just finish sewing the hole together with uh, with a yarn needle I'm about where I can't do too many more Probably do a couple more. See, my hole is really small now. It's getting hard to. And once you make it around where you can't do any more decreases, just cut your tail long put your yarn needle on in this so the rest of it shot with your with your yarn needle that way you just hide your tail and sewing this shut at the same time turned out okay. Now I'm going to put a little frame here for a picture. Okay, now what I did is I got a photo of my boy. Found one I liked. And then I got a piece of cardboard. This is just the back of an old cereal box. And I cut it the same size. And then I'm going to stick it in my piece of um, paper cover and if you do have the um, the photo books with the cardboard that you just lift up the plastic and put it down just cut your photo out to fit fit that like that and I'm just gonna put it in the corner here now I'm gonna cut it out I'm gonna leave a little bit of extra but I'm just going to cut around here like that. Just leave a little bit extra around the sides. Okay, now I'm just going to take some dabs of hot glue and glue up the side there. Now, if you don't care, if you just want to keep this like this and never be able to change the photo out, if you just want to keep it, make the stocking like baby's first Christmas or whatever, and the photo's going to stay in it. Um, you can glue it all up. If you don't, if you want to be able to switch the photos out, just glue the side up and leave the top open. I'm going to glue it all shut. And I'm just going to fold over the sides.
Wait, wait. And I'm gonna go to the top. Now you can leave your top open if you want to be able to switch photos out. Doesn't have to be real perfect. And if you have those picture books, you won't even have to to do this part. But that's what you do if you don't have that. And you can probably use anything for the plastic cover if you don't have. Just put a piece of cardboard on the back. Anything will work. And that's where it's going to go. Now I'm going to crochet just a little bit of a little bit of a frame for it. So. Now your picture may not be the same size as mine, and that's fine. We'll just, I'll just show you, just kind of measure it with the amount of change you start with. Just chain. And then you just measure it. Like that. And once you get the right amount of chains, add one more. And then single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. And then all the way across. That. chain one and turn and then do another row of single crochet and that's going to be that piece of that frame and what you want to do is measure the sides and do four pieces so make sure you get the right measure your chains and add one more and then do two rows of single crochet four separate sides like this and when you get to the end just tie it off probably have to hide your tails on all your pieces but just like that so just go ahead and do your four pieces measure your sides out to the size that you need because you might have a bigger picture than me or a smaller one I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my sides. Okay, I got my four pieces made and I got the tails hidden. Now what I want to do is get some, get, get my hot glue ready. I'm going to stick something in the stocking underneath this so it doesn't, piece of paper or something, so it doesn't go through the other side of the stocking and glue the stocking together glue it on and then I can just take that piece, piece of cardboard out. Okay, I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to put a few drops of hot glue on the back of this. Just a little bit to hold it down. Get right where you want it. 
Doesn't have to be a lot of hot glue. Just a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to take my pieces. And I'm going to hot glue on the edges. And get it on the... I'm gonna put I'm just gonna put a little drop of hot glue at each end. That's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna line it up and I'm gonna stick it to the edge of the picture. I'm going to sew this on too. This is just to get it in place. To hold it there. Get my other long piece. drop on each end. Stick it through the plastic part. Then I'm going to take these pieces and they're going to go over these edges. So I'm going to put a little drop here, a little drop here, Stick it to that. Make sure it's going over so you can still sew it onto your piece. Or make sure some of this is to where you can sew it. Do the next one. Okay, now I'm gonna take my thread or my um, yarn and needle and sew this frame on. I'm gonna take this out what I had in here. Yarn needle, piece of yarn, and I'm gonna stitch it up. Now, if you made it where you want to be able to take your picture out, don't stitch this top part up. You just stitch these three sides. But if you didn't, like I didn't, I, I'm going to keep mine like this forever. I'm going to sew the top up. So, I'm just going to start. Get it started somehow here. <laughs> In a second, I'll get it. There we go. Okay, now I'm just going to go neatly across it. Stitching it up. Like this. Making your stitches as neat as you can. Like that. And I'm going to do this all the way around. Until it's on. They're good. And I know it ain't going to come off. So I'm going to work my way around, sewing it up, and then I'll meet back up with you. Okay, after you get it sewed up, I got these little button things. I got these at Walmart. They have the button aisle. I'm just going to hot glue them on too. In the corners. Definitely, you don't have to do this. That's, or you can use any kind of decoration that you have.
And one last thing I'll probably do is embroider his name at the top. Maybe. I haven't decided, but probably. But that is it. I think it turned out pretty good. Considering I never made a stocking before. It looks alright. Um, if you guys make this, don't forget to share a picture with me on Facebook. I'd really like to see it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out all my other tutorials. And until next time, have a good day.